Do you think making a video game is easy? There's a lot that goes into making games. And while most people dream of making one, most will never accomplish their goals, unfortunately. And it's largely due to one reason. They aren't using the right tools. And I'm not talking about the game engine. Using the correct tools has not only saved me months of work, but has also made me a much better game developer. There's a lot of aspects to making a game, and this is one tool I keep coming back to and recommend to almost everyone. Even if you're just beginning your game development journey, or you're already a few years in. This tool is called Rider, a JetBrains IDE that not only works with most engines seamlessly, has amazing features to help you figure out those nasty bugs, but also tells you how bad your code is. Well, well, it's constantly telling me mine is at least and they recently announced an exciting major update now full disclosure they did sponsor this video but i've actually used them way before so let's explore some of the best features that i use on a daily in writer that make developing games so much easier but first, what kind of costs are we looking at here? Well, previously, Rider was only able to be accessed through a paid subscription, which made it more difficult for hobbyists or even beginners to fully appreciate it. But they recently announced a huge update in October that makes Rider completely free for non-commercial use. So anyone can start using it with no strings attached. None, no strings, there's none. I'm so funny, I know. The link to download Rider right now is in the description. Click it to get started making your dream game now. Now, the best part about Rider is that it just works. Before using it, I was always struggling with IDEs because they didn't have the best integration with Unity, the game engine that I use for my projects. But after my friend and fellow studio partner kept telling me to switch to Rider, once I tried the free trial and realized that I didn't have to do any of that fancy setup to get it to work, I immediately bought a subscription. It has perfect integration with not only Unity, but Unreal and Godot. It even has support for shader language, and it's the only IDE that has full support for Unreal Engine. Not only that, but it works great for any sort of cross-platform development, from desktop to mobile. So literally, no excuse not to use it. None! Zip! I don't want to hear it. And the best part is that it not only works, but it's fast. They use some fancy parallel processing so that there's no delays or freezes while coding. While you're in the trenches of game development and everything's on fire, the last thing you need is your IDE freezing on you. And a lot of people underestimate the strain this puts not only on the project, but on you as the developer. The faster you can make your workflow, the happier and less burnt out you'll be. But I still haven't got into the best parts of this tool yet, and this one is a must for creating video games. One of my biggest gripes with other IDEs is that the debugging would never work. I don't know how many hours I wasted trying to get it to work to no avail. And since my current project is over tens of thousands of lines long, it's pretty much impossible to figure out where a bug is coming from without the proper debugging tools. But with Rider, I can easily set a breakpoint on the line I want it to stop at, connect it to the Unity editor in one click, and then see all of the variables and their values, which has saved me a literal month of my life. A month. 30 days. That's 730 hours. Do you know how much anime I could have watched? Yeah, I'm a weeb. But this isn't the only thing that has saved me a ton of time while I'm working on a project. And once I used this feature, I literally couldn't imagine making a game without it. It's called usages. And usages tell you basically where your code is being used. When you have thousands of lines of code, it's easy to forget what calls what and from where. So in Writer, you can hover over any function or script and see exactly where and how many times you are calling it. Not only this, but you can see the usages from the editor itself, which is a game changer for me because I always have a lot of objects in my scene hierarchy and I'm always forgetting where I'm calling a function from. It even lets you easily change the name of your variables or functions throughout your whole project in only a few clicks, which saves a ton of time while refactoring. These two features have made development 10 times easier for me and I can't imagine my life without them. Writer also has super in-depth tools for profiling games and making unit tests. So you not only write code fast, but fast code. <laughs> Certified banger quote. Although I tend to leave the optimization to my friend, not because I'm lazy or don't know what's going on, <laughs> but I still haven't mentioned my absolute favorite feature of Writer, which I didn't expect to like that much, but has made me a much better developer. It's when it tells me that my code sucks. You may be asking, why is that a good thing? 
It's not like I like to be called out for my spaghetti code. Well, it automatically analyzes the code and suggests changes to make it better, faster, and safer. Because of these small suggestions, I've actually been able to catch some of my really bad coding practices and now have much more efficient code. And during this process, I've become a much better developer, which my friend really appreciates when he has to read my spaghetti code. But working with a teammate on a game can sometimes be pretty challenging because sometimes you can step on their toes and erase some of their progress. That's why I always recommend some sort of version control to back up the game to the cloud just in case anything goes wrong. With our project, we're using Git for backing up and I had originally been using GitHub Desktop to push my changes. But as the code got more complicated and we started to encounter more merge conflicts, at some point the software I was using was not cutting it. But with Rider, you have a tab where you can easily manage all the version control related to your project. You can see all of the changes in your repository and even deal with conflicts between the files that you may have clashed on. And this works great even if you're working alone. If I accidentally broke something that was working a few days ago, I can easily see the previous version, compare the changes, and fix any issues that I notice immediately. And if you're not convinced yet, this one feature might be the tipping point, and it's something I'm always using to write faster code. Writer has add-on support for an AI assistant where the code writes itself. This is a game changer not only for beginners, but for experienced developers as well, who don't want to waste time writing tedious functions. It can not only generate code from a description, but also generate documentation, explain any questions you might have about the code, and even generate commit messages for version control. Isn't technology fascinating? And to top it off, Writer is very customizable with hundreds of settings, themes, and extensions that you can add to your project to make your life easier. You can see that I prefer the colorful dark mode as it makes me feel like a super cool hacker doing super cool hacking stuff. And my favorite part is that it just works. I don't need to be a magician, but it does make me feel like one when I'm developing a game. They have some great support forums for any questions people have, are constantly listening to feedback from its users, and regularly push updates to make the software the best it can be. It's free to use, it'll make you a better developer, and allow you to create more ambitious games faster. Click the link below to download Writer right now and get started crafting your dream game.